How do microwaves work? Could Harry Potter's invisibility cloak ever exist? And what is light? Those questions and many, many more will be answered at SciFest Dubai, which begins next week. With us now is Rohan Roberts, the director of the festival. Thank you so much for coming in. Great to be here, Kimberly. Right, there's a lot in store next week. So tell us a bit more about what's on offer. Right, so the event is SciFest Dubai, and it's a celebration of science through the arts. It's uh, owned by Medan Theatre and sponsored by GEMS Education uh, in association with Emacs. And the idea is to celebrate science through the arts and reach out to people who aren't normally interested in science. So there are a whole host of events taking place. There are planetarium shows, movie screenings. And because it's a celebration of science through the arts, we have things like performance poetry, a science play, uh, fashion shows, uh, dance and music concerts, uh, debates, science workshops, and, and so much more. How did the uh, idea come about? That's a really interesting concept. Right, well, um, uh, Lara Matosian, who is the lead coordinator of the event, and I were, were, were discussing um, things over uh, a coffee when we were watching the World Science Festival happening in New York. Are you into science or art? Well, I'm an educator okay. and uh, I teach literature, but I also run an astronomy uh, club in Dubai and a science club, and I'm the founder of Cafe Scientifique. So I have uh, one foot in, 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 in both fields. Uh, so I'm passionate about literature and art, but also about science. Okay. And so we looked at the World Science Festival and we said, Dubai needs something like this. Dubai has had sci uh, uh, literature festivals and jazz festivals and, and shopping festivals. It's about time Dubai had a science festival. So do you need to know anything about science before you get or anything about arts? No, well, it, it's an educational experience and all events are free except the movie screenings. The idea is to educate the public about science. So you don't really need to have any hardcore science knowledge. We're reaching out the, uh, to the layperson and to the science nerds and the science geeks. So there's hardcore science stuff happening. Uh, like the science projects and the science workshops. But there's also a lot of fun stuff for the kids, mad science shows and nutty scientists shows. Uh, but there's also stuff for, the, uh, for people interested in the arts, uh, the performance poetry and the play. And there's a murder mystery dinner as well. So um, not really, you don't need to have any deep knowledge about science. But there are some famous names too, are there? Uh, yes, well, um, in, in terms of famous scientists, we, uh, we have a few famous scientists joining us via video. There's Steven Pinker, who's a famous cognitive scientist at Harvard University. There's David Deutsch, who is probably one of the top three scientists in the world in terms of quantum computing. And uh, we have uh, Jason Silver joining us via video as well. Who He's the host of Brain Games on Nat Geo, which is the highest rated premiering show on Nat in the history of National Geographic. So these are people joining us via video. But uh, in terms of local, uh, local names, we have Dr. Abdullah Al-Karam, who is the Director General at KHDA. Uh, he's uh, the chief guest at the opening ceremony. And we also have Noura al Noman, who is the first Emirati science fiction writer. She's joining us at the closing ceremony. And there's also Dr. Majid al Qasmi, who is the first Emirati vet and the founder of the MENA Scientist, which is a, a science magazine that caters to readers and viewers uh, in the Middle East region. Was it easy to get such big names on board, especially the international scientists? Um, well, I think. Well, it wasn't that difficult. We, we reached out to them and uh, they liked the idea. They liked the idea of reaching out to people who aren't naturally scientists or in, inclined towards science. Um, and they, they, uh, they, they liked the tagline. The tagline of the event is, you don't have to be a scientist to love science. So I suppose they're doing their bit to promote science. So what are you most looking forward to? Well, there's so many events, it's, it's difficult to choose a few, but what I'm most looking forward to is the opening ceremony. It's the Critical Wonder Serious All Keynote Conference. And we have some of the best youth speakers in Dubai uh, talking on the theme of intelligent optimism. Um, what that means is uh, being optimistic about the future, but in an informed and, and rational way, uh, being excited about what science and technology have to offer. And um, uh, that's the keynote event. Uh, and that's happening on 26th, Wednesday, at the Maidan Theatre from 6 to 8 p.m. But there's also uh, the Murder Mystery Dinner, which is uh, really exciting, and uh, the, the science play. Uh, there's lots of plays happening in, in Dubai, and I've been to quite a few of them. But this is the first science play. It's called Leap uh, by Lauren Gunderson, and it's directed by Lara Matosian. 
um, and it's based on the life of Isaac Newton okay, and it infuses biography and mythology and historical information so it's, right. it's, uh, it's pretty unique. I've never seen a science play before even though I've seen hundreds <laughs> of other plays. Everyone's familiar with the uh, regular playwrights, Harold Painter, Shakespeare. Who wrote yeah, this, this one? Is he? This one's uh, written by Lauren Gunderson. Okay. She's an American playwright. Okay. Yeah. Well I'm going to have to um, stop you there. We're running out of time but it really sounds fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much Thank for taking the time to come and tell us about it. Great to be here. Thank you so much. Kimberly. Thank you Rohan. All right.